In one yeah, I, I, I've, I've heard, I've heard about that. I, I think he posted it on his, <laughs> on his Facebook account. And we're still connected. We are cool with each other. Is he on stage? No, but we, 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 have to, we have to continue to work in Hamburg. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's really Maybe you will record um, some kind of hello to Axel when we will be at his DJ set. Yeah, no, no problem. Snimi. Should I do it in, in, in yeah? I should I do it in English. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you can greet him with, uh, <laughs> with his birthday today. <laughs> hey, Axel, you old Eimer. <laughs> yeah, this is Rick. <laughs> and um, Where yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, I hope you have a lot of fun uh, in uh, Moscow with your DJ set and um, keep rocking and let's have a beer together next in, in, in Hamburg. You don't remember the <laughs> Thanks, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was great. But I like Rick. Why don't you ask me on your live show uh, uh, in the night? You see, um, we have, we have such a huge amount of singers. We, I, think, I think we released now nearly 60 singers. Uh, but the show has got a limited amount of time. And <laughs> it's, it's simply because uh, after, after, even if we do the, the very, very long show in Germany, after nearly two hours, people are completely exhausted. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, they are not, not physically not possible to continue. So that's why we have to choose tracks and um, in Germany we had uh, mm -hmm. I think 23, um, 23 top 10 hits even and um, a show is usually something about 21 or 22 songs which should also contain special versions of album tracks and stuff which is not the common hit thing mm -hmm. um, to, to make it a little bit more interesting yes. for everybody yes. and, um, yes. so this is why we cannot play uh, every Every single. Uh, every single from every chapter. So, and um, the night, I think there there were, there were songs like Weekend or um, Nesaya, which which were bigger hits those days. So, so they are, I think they are a little bit more accepted by the crowd. So, but maybe we'll be perform the night again on probably on the on the Russian tour we will do in the autumn. Uh, do you have any surprise maybe for uh, fans today? I'm not quite sure, but, uh, but maybe the, yeah, the, 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 the track listing is, uh, often changes spontaneously before the show, so you never know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we got a lot, lot of things in our sequence system, so uh, sometimes we, we change we spontaneously the, the program and then uh, yeah, something happens. Okay. <laughs> also, we wanted to ask, uh, why don't you release the I'm a River Baby as a single? Because this is always a decision. Yes, you see, we've got a Russian record company, and this is always a decision of the record company. They we can we only can offer the songs, and it, because they know the local market better than we do, it's that it's on their decision to release a song or, or do it not. It was not that we uh, for, for, forbid about that. Uh, it was just that we said, well, this is the album, and try to work with it, and then they they did it like they thought it's best to do. Uh, epic set, set question. Yeah. Uh, not so long ago, ago a well-known musician, Ricard da Force, who, who has formed a uh, part of the KLF and then trends, passed away. As we know, you guys admire KLF as they strongly influenced your music. Yeah. Uh, do you know any of them personally, or maybe this man? No, um, I, I actually not. I, I know that the, 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 the main characters, uh, Jimmy Corti and uh, mm -hmm. Bill Drummond, that they know about our music and, the, and about the existence of our band. And um, it's really funny, as far as, as I heard, um, Bill Drummond was, was asked about the um, yeah, kind of, yeah, what, what, what developed from their, from their project. And um, they said, well, there's a German band, and they held up a an album of us <laughs> and said, well, this is kind of what's, what's the, the, the next KLF. But uh, it's only what I heard. I, I never read it in, uh, officially in any kind of interview. But it was a guy who did some interviews with them. And he said they know about us and they're, they're cool with us. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, the question is about, about race. race. <laughs> uh, 
uh, Lord asked you about it last time, and you said that maybe Reiki will return, maybe not. But um, again, Axel Kuhn will perform in Moscow, and that's why we saw that uh, Reiki was a project with Axel Kuhn. Mm -hmm. and so maybe you can um, work with him again, on the Reiki. Yeah, to, <laughs> to <Why not>? <laughs> <laughs> You see, the, the Reddit thing just developed when we were working in the studio because the, the, it, was, it was the, it was the, I think it was the B side of, um, um, what was the song called? Oh, it's such a long time ago. Um, uh, of, wait, um, she's the son, of course, yeah. But it, it, it was, it was the B side of the she's son, and we. Released this just to, to, to trick the DJs because those days in Germany it was a little difficult for us to get the reputation in the clubs because everybody said, oh, scooter, oh, that's commercial crap. And we sometimes tricked them just releasing stuff without our names on it. And By the way, it, 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 it really I, saw, uh, I saw Sunrise, yeah, I am uh, in the Armin Van Buren, yeah. the state of trance. Yeah, yeah, this is, yes. and uh, <laughs> this is really fun. Um, because sometimes people are still thinking about that this is a side project, or even we covered it from this <coughs> from this ready thing, and so um, yeah, this was all good fun. We we, we once had a, uh, the instrumental version of Anya Pusher, which we just called the Pusher mm -hmm. as a project name, which is for, for white for white label uh, release on vinyl, and uh, in a really critical uh, techno dance magazine who always uh, who were always dissing us, it became record of the month. <laughs> I don't know if the, if the guy who did this was fired later on, but <laughs> the, it, was, it was good fun. The, uh, who is uh, these guys uh, who will appear in the Reiki video clip? Uh -huh. the, uh, under the mask. Um, one, one, yes. one is the brother of Axel, and um, I think one is the, is the guy without hair who is also appearing in the, as, a, as an actor in the video. And the third, I don't know, it was Janse. It's, a, it's an old friend of HP. Oh, uh, uh, but but, but it, 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 it definitely weren't other than us. The, the same at the live performance. So it's the same at the live performance. By the way, we heard that uh, when DJs uh, realized that Sunrise uh, is, is your track, they played it before and, uh, and they, uh, no, when they knew it's your track, they cracked the uh, vinyl and, and so on. <laughs> Uh, well, what's I, wrong I, with these people? I want to ask. <laughs> I think some did, but 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 uh, in common, I think they 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 continue to play the song because it's okay. This is, this is instrumental. This is kind of yeah. Well, I don't know. It, it's it's. Uh, I think this is not so important because um, anyway, you have to do what you like, and uh, as long as you do what you like, um, you don't have to think so much about the reaction uh, of other people about your work. Uh, Rick, what is your most favorite video? No. Of, uh, of, of of ourselves or in general? Yeah. Um, in general, for, uh, from all objects. Um, do, 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 are, are you talking about scooter videos? Scooter, or, or scooter, or, yes. Okay. What is? I think I think um, Ram, Ram, and um, Maria, yeah, Maria, because those uh, were directed by by a really really cool um, director, uh, Max Schwellermann. Uh, together with the cool producer, and if they work together, always something magic happens. Um, Max Schillermann, uh, in between, produced a, a Hollywood mm -hmm. a full, full feature movie, and um, he's really big in the, in the car commercial scene, and he's, he's really a huge talent. And the whole set, the whole fil film set, was like in a movie. You know, like, oh, is this, this is not are you shooting? Are we in the wrong scene or what? And <laughs> because there was hundreds of meters with, of lights and stuff, and the, Burning stuff, I guess. It's the flames and everything. And uh, yeah, this was really good fun. And what was the most expensive video? I think it, it was uh, Faster Harder Scooter. No, the most yeah. expensive video was, uh, was the, the Mumbai. Ah, no, no, the, 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 this was the more, yeah, the other, there were the most people, but the most expensive video was, most was, expensive. The, was the Age of Love. Oh. Because it was, it was done completely uh, blue boxed and then, uh, and then post production. Uh, at a time where it was not common to do it on the laptop, you know, because yes. uh, at the time you, had, you really needed uh, expensive equipment with and there were people who were uh, part on, of, of Hollywood productions who were um, working on this, this thing and then I think they, it, it, it also won a prize later on and the Spice Girls covered it 
and their song Spice Up Your Life. I was really in inspired by the Age of Love video. Hey, Erica, remember our when we talk in the right club? Yeah. And um, you know, we have a question uh, about uh, remixes for Scooter. Uh, you, you told me uh, that uh, we can uh, ask Marcus Gardwek about yeah. it, but uh, I can't find uh, any contacts with him. How we, how we can... Uh, yeah. maybe, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe just, just talk to, to Sasha, who is the manager on duty. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, he, he's, the, he's the tour manager and he's got the direct contact. He can okay. brief you later on. Mm -hmm. What 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 do you plan in uh, nearest uh, hours? The, the next hours. Yeah, the next hours. Um, I will have something to eat, and I will probably go to the sound check. Yeah, yeah, I'll have um, sound I'll, check. I'll do the sound Just check, right. and um, hopefully the wall, it won't snow too heavy. Uh, so I will return <laughs> for 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 the chill out period to the to the hotel, and then it's warm up and rock and roll. Yes. We're always uh, very glad to see you in Moscow. Always. Thank you. By the way, did you hear a fake uh, uh, fake title about uh, your your future album? Okay. Uh, something says. Uh, uh, my name is Techno, call me Electro. Ah, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are, there are always rumors around how the new album will, 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 will be named, but um, there's no decision. That the name is so. Hip Hop Don't Stop. <laughs> 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 okay, guys. Okay, danke schön. Bitte schön. <laughs> see you later. Oh, see you later. Nice to see you guys. A photo. photo. Yeah, of course. Yes. <laughs> Just do interview. Но было здорово. Супер! Мы поговорили с Майклом, с Виктором, с HP, даже немножко поговорили. Было все офигенно, дружелюбная атмосфера. Вик нам обрадовался, как все парни, да, то есть все было супер, классно. Вик вообще свой парень, свой Ребята вообще, по-моему, становятся приветливыми с каждым разом, и они прекрасно помнят наши предыдущие встречи, что, что в принципе очень радует. Так что... Тем, кто, у кого есть такой миф, что типа скутер это такие звезданутые ребята, нифига это не так. Ну, может быть, чуть-чуть изменить, а не толпи. И то совсем чуть-чуть. Ну, просто спеши, просто спеши. Отличный парень. Окей, Рокс. Всем спасибо. До свидания.